All right, Kevin, thank you. Police have just arrested a man suspected of multiple vehicle thefts today. At one point, they tried to chase him, but he got away. Well, he hasn't gotten away now. New specialist Sean Moody's live in Sandy with the very latest. Sean? Hey there, Dave. We just got word of that arrest just in the past 10 minutes or so ago. A lot of the search earlier today was focused here in the Carnation Drive area. Neighbors here told me uh, there were police going yard to yard looking for this man. We've just learned now they've made that arrest. That man's accused of stealing two cars and attempting to steal a third. Police say this all started around 930 this morning in Holiday. Somebody had gone into a daycare to drop off their child. When they came back out, their car was gone. Police said they were able to find it using a location feature on that car, but the suspect wouldn't stop. They said conditions wouldn't allow for a pursuit there. Not long after in Sandy, police said the man abandoned that car and then tried to steal another one, but the homeowner stopped him. He was able to steal another person's car shortly after. Police in the Sandy or Cottonwood Heights area spotted that car, tried to pursue him, but they lost him. They finally found that car abandoned in a neighborhood near the Lone Peak Park. They brought in canines and scoured the area, but at that point there was no sign of him. It's a big deal uh, and it's a, it's a really uh, it causes us concern of why he was willing to go through such efforts to get away from us. Uh, the pursuit, I don't know the length of it, um, but uh, anytime we have a pursuit, we're always putting everybody's lives at risk, including the suspects. Uh, and uh, so we want to make sure we alleviate those as much as we can and uh, try to apprehend them some other way. Several hours later now, we have learned there has now just been an arrest in that case. We'll have more on that on uh, KSL 5 News at 10 o'clock. Also, this all happened not too far from Alta View Elementary School earlier this afternoon. That's where the school was briefly on lockdown, making sure the students and staff inside there were safe. Dave, back to you. Thank goodness they have him tonight. Sean Moody and Sandy. Thanks, Sean. Knew it.